Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bank's Awakening. Before getting started here today, I thought I'd show you another song that you can unlock with a specific file name. I didn't know about this one, so thanks for letting me know, viewers. Kinda sounds like elevator music to me, but I like it. I thought I'd wait until I got the ocarina and learned the song from Marin before showing that to you guys. But alright, let's head on into another adventure with Dampe in the dungeon that I arranged at the end of the last episode. Tried making it as short as possible there. Now you notice, even though this is the entrance for Battle Grotto, there's no chest there on the left. Sometimes they make mi minor changes to the rooms like that for some reason. Now you notice the room I just came out of was from the Tail Cave, and this underground section is from Battle Grotto. Yeah, I didn't know that you, you could carry a pot up a ladder like that as a child. But yeah, the room we head into is from the Key Cavern, so I don't know how they decide what 2D side-scrolling areas to use when you have chambers with stairs in them. I would think it would choose from one of those staircases or another where they were in the dungeons before, but apparently not. Maybe there's a bit of randomness to it. Or maybe it depends on the entrance tile you use. I don't know. But in any case, okay, you can be stuck there. Let's try getting around here. That works. Now, sometimes in dungeons where if you have a key that would have dropped from a ceiling for killing all of the enemies in a room, they'll just put a chest there instead. Let's see. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. I haven't used any crystal blocks in this arrangement. But yeah, so sometimes they make little changes to things like that with the keys in chests. I guess they want to make it so that they know, okay, you have this number of chests, so you can only get this many locked doors in a dungeon. Otherwise, the game will tell you, hey, your dungeon doesn't work. But I do know that bonking off the wall works for boss time. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Got that. All right, very nice. One, okay, we could wait a little bit. Haha! -ha. Yeah, if you jump before they hit the ground, you can, uh, ha ha, got him, three hits. Yeah, you can avoid getting stunned like that. Yeah! Got it! Woohoo! Got the three hit kill on both of them! Very nice. Th that's really ha hard, or really fickle, because you gotta be like dead center on them with your sword in order to... Uh, do, do that with the uh, Pegasus boots there, and you really can't move too much to the left or the right to alter your trajectory. But in any case, we've got even more dungeons to go through with Dampe, so let's get another one going there. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we got a couple more here. Okay, well, let's see. With this one, yeah, this one you have to completely... Fill all the tiles there. So, see what we can do. Okay, so with this one... Let's see. Oh, we got a new tile. Yeah, sometimes they'll have tiles like that. Where... They'll have a boss there, but it's not a boss room, per se. Okay, so let's put this one over there. Then put a boss tile over there. That'll be good. Okay, then let's see. 
Get some chests going. Okay, so let's put... Yeah, let's put this one there. And then I want to use the four-way intersection tile that we got from the key cavern there. And then basically what I'm trying to do is make it so that I only really need to explore half the dungeon I'm making here. And I can just ignore all the rooms with other stuff or with nothing in them. So let's see if we go like that. We've got four chests for the locked doors and one for the nightmare key. And that should be relatively simple to do. Just make sure I don't use any tiles that, or any chambers that have chests in them so that I don't have to explore them. You have to open every chest that you place in a dungeon so that way the last one always has the nightmare key. Well, I mean, that's just how they do that. Okay, so far, so good. What do we got? Okay, for that one, I really hope I have enough tiles to do all this one. I don't care about putting mini bosses in rooms since I'm not going to be going through there. Okay, then... Oh, this will work perfectly with uh, two stairs. Hooray! So yeah, press the Y button. Everything is good. Go on the entrance tile. Let's go through another adventure. Yeah, you can just press A on the entrance tile and just go straight there without having to go through the menu again. So yeah, I'm not going to explore every room in this one because that would take forever. But I try to make things as efficiently as possible. So yeah, all the chests are going to have keys in them to handle the number of doors that I put, or locked doors that I've placed, but that's the only way I could use a four-way intersection tile, at least at this point. Eventually, we'll have more, and this would be a lot easier if I waited until later in the game, but I like doing things with these kind of restrictions on them. Now, you notice this room, they got rid of the stairs for some reason. I don't know why. I do know that I want to keep going this way, though. So, let's get that. Yeah, I don't really need anything there. Hmm, I'm just thinking if there's an easy way of coming back through here without having to hit the crystal switch afterwards. Okay. Yeah, I suppose that'll work. That way I don't have to go back down there. Okay, then go... Wait for it. Oh, okay. Well, that'll make things a little more difficult. That's... Okay, let's uh, back out and... Yeah, reset those. Try that one again. Aw, oh, man. Well, at least I got something. Okay, there we go. And we get rupees for dealing with them. Or making them all diamonds. Wish they had something for clubs or spades, but I don't know what they would use for that. Well, in any case, let's get out of here and head straight up. Well, actually, you know what? Why don't we open this door? Just so I use up all the keys that I've got. Oh. <laughs> ha 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 ha! Ha ha! it into the abyss, Guardian Acorn! <laughs> wow. That was glorious. Well, okay, I'd rather fall down there than, yeah, fall in with the guardian ink. Get out of here! Food boss time! Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, one. And go into pissy boss mode. Careful. Oh. That was weird. Haha! -ha, gotcha! The, got the Moldorm seemed to kind of retreat into its shell before I hit it. Hmm, that's weird. But we got him! Hooray! I guess you can find guardian acorns and a piece of power in these dungeons. 
But yeah, for completing that challenge, now we're starting to get to the real prizes. Secret Seashell, number 22. And Heart Piece, number 14. And... Oh, okay. Sure, why not? How hard could it possibly be? Oh, okay. So yeah, you could create your own dungeon if you wanted for some reason. Actually, I will be using that way later in the game for farming rupees. And that'd be really useful for that. Until then, yeah, let me just double check my item count here. Okay, 22 and 14. So yeah, we're good. Okay, so yeah, why don't we uh, arrange the next dungeon in advance? Okay, so this is where they start getting a bit harder. Oh, uh, what did they say? Can I get out of here? Yeah, just return to the menu. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, we're pro I'm probably going to need to use some... Some stairs for this one. And, yeah, they require you to... Go through... Or, yeah, um, get all the chests, that is... Okay, so let's see. Why don't we go... Okay, from here, let's take one of these right there. And then... Okay, I'm going to start in the lower left here. And then, let's see. I want as many chests early as I can for this part. Okay, then let's see. Hmm... I could use that one. Yeah, why don't we use that one? Then we can use the key up there. And then this can make it easy there. Let's see. Okay, so it's got to be a chest. Let's try that one again. Okay, so let's see. If I did this let's see okay so we got a key and yeah let's see what else we got here okay i'm just thinking if i want to use the stairs here connect those two right next to each other yeah that'll work okay then let's see with that if i put one hmm no i don't think this will work i need another chest somewhere so let's see, we got one that gets used here, one to get in here, but then I need another one. Yeah. Okay, that won't work. Okay, so we could take... Yeah, why don't we uh, move that one around? Yeah, get those two together, and then we can make this happen. Okay, so yeah, then we'll have two keys to get in there. And then, let's see, one up there. And then, okay, so we've got five chests here, so that's enough for all the locked doors. And then, let's see, if I go like that, okay, that'll work. And then put a boss up here. Ha-ha! It works! Very nice. So, yeah, yeah, that'll get the job done. And let's record that. And, yeah, this one should be fairly quick as well. But for now, yeah, let's get out of there. I've had enough adventuring for one day, Dompe. But can we find the colorful dungeon? Find out next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!